a man is judged by the degenerate fuck-up kids he enables. So, if Joe Biden is such a good guy, then why didn't he tell Hunter to cut out creaming into his dead brother's widow seconds after the cremation ensued? Can I get a holla for comedy record number 28, the unholy father? Holla! Thank you very much! Offended already? Then go woke yourself! Holla! Thank you very much! That includes you, Joe Biden, a.k.a. Mr. Groper, in addition to his lying piece of shit press secretary. Looks like Trans Chucky and Clifford had a baby. Holla! Thank you very much! The strawberry shortcake voodoo doll come to life. It's proud of our rescue efforts in Afghanistan. <laughs> Does our non-stop parade of smug-filled lies ever end? I haven't seen a gap that big since Sandra Bernhardt said cheese. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Fuck China. Chinese-made fentanyl has killed more crackers in this country than Taylor Swift kicking it with Lena Dunham on Instagram. Holla! Thank you very much! Lena Dunham was actually Hillary Hammertime Kankel's social media campaign manager. Only Lena Dunham can make Homo Liquor Breath less likable and relatable in one blubbery swoop. Holla! Thank you very much! Hillary says she lost because of Russian collusion? I thought she lost because she's an unhuggable cunt. My bad. She must have deleted that memo too. Holla! Thank you very much! My wife had a Hillary spotting. During lunch in a garden patio in northern Westchester last week. Later, my wife says, Hillary was nice. She smiled at baby. I said, of course she smiled at baby. Hillary was getting warmed up for dessert. Ha! Thank you very much. But the kosher butcher, a Karen, gets up in my face and screams, wear the damn mask. I say, not until you suck the hate speech and white privilege out of my chosen schlong first. But I'll make it easy for you, Karen, because I'm a giver and not another greedy heap like Bernie Sanders. Pretend Obama ordered you to leak it. Ha! Thank you very much! Vermont should change their state motto from the green state to CBD oil only. Bernie Sanders couldn't even make Vermont great for potheads on vacation. Ah, thank you very much. If Joe Biden, a.k.a. Mr. Groper, got the most votes out of any presidential candidate in U.S. history, then Michelle Obama instantly regretted pissing on the ceiling fan in the Lincoln bedroom moments before Trump's inauguration, <laughs> before the Donald comments to Melania hours later. Is this what She-Hulk meant when she, he said, when they go low, we aim high? Holla! Joan lives. Thank you very much! And why is the trans community getting their panties in a bunch over the song Dude Looks Like a Lady after all these years? In the song, Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith takes more than a peek, proclaiming with surging Mounting loss, oh, what a funky lady, and I like it, like it, like it, yeah. So do Richard Pryor and Jim Norton. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I'm not close to the possibility, so get over it already. Richard Pryor said it was the best piece of pussy Bill Maher never had. Ha! Ah, thank you very much. If Obama is such a baller, Dave Chappelle, then why did Obama be good why the bench at an all-Asian private school in Hawaii? Holla! Thank you very much! And stop fronting, Dave. You know Obama, not Trump, is the one who loves Hitler. Obama wishes he was that organized. Mass extermination of every hook-nosed journalist, blogger, or vlogger from Breitbart, da, 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 who dared to criticize his new gifting deal to Iran would be a gas. Holla! Thank you very much!
That's right. Obama be good gave Iran 1.5 billion dollars in the still of the night and unmarked bills to create overseas manufacturing jobs for Build a Bear to make their economy less reliant on the sale of chest hair removal creams for the Kardashians. Holla! Kanye West lives. Thank you very much. The robot at Stop and Shop is scary. I tell my son, don't make fun of LeBron or he'll report you to China. Holla! Charles Barkley lives. Thank you very much. Why was LeBron James in an ESPN documentary about Ken Griffey Jr.? At least Ken Griffey understood his personality limitations and stuck to smiling on weedy boxes and upper deck trading cards. Holla! Thank you very much. LeBron only wants to run for president in 2024 just so he could tell Laura Ingram to stick to being a less ghoulish and Coulter for a living. Holla! Michael Savage lives. Thank you very much! I don't think LeBron James, king of the persecution complex, aka America's most hunted, is the target audience for the new Trump voice GPS system. On your far left is Mohican Sun Casino, Elizabeth Warren's home away from home. Holla! Oliver Stone lives. Thank you very much! LeBron got the idea of wearing a fake news cast during the NBA Finals after Michelle Obama gave him the idea to do it after she threatened to jam her arm up Obama's ass if he ever offered Beyonce Paul Newman's lemonade over her homemade kombucha ever again. Holla! Whole Foods lives. Thank you very much! <laughs> if I can't get a lead agent for my books, the cogitarian comedian, bang! The great American Jew novel, bang! Or waste of height, really short stories. Bang! I'm gonna skip declaring bankruptcy. I'll just take a fentanyl like George Floyd and stick up a pregnant woman with a fake news gun to score some counterfeit bills to buy some smoke at 7 Eleven before resisting arrest in the cops and not pursued only to die from cardiac arrest. Knowing at least then Kyrie Irving would pay off the mortgage on my family's house while LeBron could pay for my kids' college. On the down low. Offended yet? Millennial Mouseketeer easily triggered Twitter twat nation? Then you can go woke yourself too. Holla! Thank you very much! True Lincoln Log story. Google it. My great 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 grandfather, Austin Goller, saved his boyhood friend, Abraham Lincoln, from drowning after he fell off a log in Knob Creek while running home late for some more raccoon soup, <laughs> which is which will go down as the greatest presidential save since JFK kept Maryland warm for Bobby. Ha! Thank you very much! But a young Abe had his friend, Austin Goller, prom promise to never tell a soul about saving him from drowning till he died because nobody would believe that the future liberator of the black man was a worse swimmer than they. Ha! Paul Mooney lives. Thank you very much! Even Lincoln Logs are racist now? The new woke chief play officer of Hasbro declares Lincoln Logs are racist now. We're renaming them Obama Logs now. The chief marketing officer interjects and says, but Obama grew up under a tent in Kenya with dreams of building a super mosque over the remains of Ground Zero. Kanye, 2024, bitches, can I get a holla? For the modern day hip hop billionaire, fashionpreneur, extraordinaire, otherwise known as Kanye West, you better fucking. Know my name, motherfucker. Holla! If he's crazy, I want some more crazy in my life. Thank you very much! And what was so crazy about Kanye retelling a pro-near-abortion tale that turned out good, which brought him closer to God than ever before, was it ultimately Kim's decision to terminate the potential beautiful life beam in her life and play the role of Sperm Terminator? Yes. But for the wife 
of Kanye's four kids to punish Kanye for hardcore emotional realism all of a sudden is some real cold-hearted gangster shit, Holmes. Holla! For preaching the gospel a long time. Kanye lives. Thank you very much! And Kim Kardashian is no better than the easily triggered Twitter Twat Nation or Goodwill Hoodie at Facebook or the outraged mob in general, online or off, for trying to censor her husband's speech by threatening to lock him up in a loony bin for telling a pro-near abortion tale turn out good. If Kim really cared about social justice, then give Kanye some breathing room, bitch. <laughs> Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Kim Kardashian will be taking the bar to become a social justice lawyer soon. Social justice lawyers are so hot right now, especially since All Eyes Matter became the new N-word. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> this is Cory Booker flirting with actress Rosario Dawson before they became an item for a bit. Was it you or Chloe Sevigny who died of AIDS in the movie Kids? Just playing. In the end, that white bitch didn't feel so privileged after all. Holla! Thank you very much! This is Russell Simmons addressing rape allegations with Gail King. Gail, read my lisp. I didn't rape any of those vengeful over-the-hill hoes. Holla! Def Jam lives. Thank you very much! It's my 10-year-old daughter playing marriage counselor at home again. Pause, Daddy. Mama got your point mid-breath. Holla! Robert Schimmel lives. Thank you very much. This is me titty-shaming my wife again. I can't believe our 10-year-old daughter just got her first breast bud. My wife says, Matilda and Shannon are the last girls in their class to get them. I say, then why haven't yours sprouted yet? Holla! Rodney lives. Thank you very much! The other day, my son says, I jammed this lime up my butt. I said, don't jam limes up your butt. He says, why not? I rubbed it against my penis and it felt good. I reply, I better keep you away from dad's key lime pie for dessert. Holla! Thank you very much! Wife pulls a dildo out of her panty drawer and says, do you want it? I say, save it for baby Samuel. He's already jamming limes up his butt. So at this point, what difference does it make? Hillary Hammer Tom Kankles strikes again. Holla! Thank you very much! My four-year-old son says to, an older, says to his older brother, Arthur, sit on my penis. I say, not kosher, baby. Holla! Thank you very much! But... Sit on my penis is a rock-solid, bare-bones line to use in a Russ Meyer film. Topless tutors after Little Johnny scores an A-plus in his pop quiz on geometry on top of a pentagram-shaped bed. The director bedded Jane Mansfield in for devilish dicks. Holla! Russ Meyer lives. Thank you very much! Perfect. Father-son bonding moment. Son says, are you picking us up from camp today, Daddy? I said, yes. He says, that's good because I get to see more of you then. And we get to listen to badass music on the car ride home. And my wife thinks hair metal is rock and roll pollution. Holla! Bon Scott lives. Thank you very much! But Bjork having a band member pouring cups of water into a koi pond for a watered-down Drum solo doesn't stink. Holla! Thank you very much! Also, for all you hardcore ACDC fans, I'm fully aware that Brian Johnson was the lead singer responsible for rock and roll, late noise pollution. Holla! Thank you very much! Unfortunately, now, Brian Johnson had to stop performing live for ACDC because he's borderline deaf. Now, all Brian Johnson hears on stage is in his mind is Hells Bells Holla! Thank you very much! All my kids talked about all weekend long was a scene from Peter Rabbit 2 where a carrot gets jammed up some bloke's butt. Turns out I need to get out of the house more often because when I saw the scene, 
I yell out with dejected disgust. Where's the penetration already? Is this film G-rated or what? Then again, penetration is overrated. That's what Megan Raponi told her date at the Enchantment Under the Sea Dance. Holla! Michael J. Fox lives. Thank you very much! Now, soccer star Megan Raponi is a new fashion model for Victoria's Secret. I can't wait to blow 80 bucks on edible shin guards that taste like hairy fish sticks. Holla! Ellen lives. Thank you very much! Megan might run for president one day. What's going to be her campaign slogan exactly? Penetration is overrated. Bring back the L word to Netflix, Obama. You're our only hope. Ha! George Lucas lives. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is Liz Cheney for going down on Megan Raponi. Unlike my father, Dick, I aim to please. Ha! W. I didn't think there'd be a bigger fuck up than you because you started the fucking Afghanistan mess in the first place, but Biden's got you beat. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> I tell my wife the Goodman Project is going to republish 18 of my blogs on their site, like children or family upgrades. Bang! From upper middle to downward deplorable. Bang! And the last self loving Jewish New Yorker. Bang! My doodle dad DNA. It's all over the internet forever. Wife says, what are they paying you for it? I said, less than your parents give us, so nothing. Holla! Thank you very much! One year for Christmas in Delaware. Your state slogan should be changed to, your Nazi gold is safe with us. Holla! Woody Allen lives. Thank you very much! So one year for Christmas in Delaware. The only gift my daughter received from her Christian grandparents was a plastic toy chest with no toys in it. I said, don't worry, Matilda. We'll fill it up with your 8,000 Hanukkah gifts. Holla! Jackie Mason lives running on shtick, far from empty. Thank you very much! My wife works as a nurse on most nights. And she worked on Christmas Eve this past year. So we missed Christmas with my in-laws. So I missed out on getting another pair of black champion socks because the cost of postage costs more than the socks themselves. Holla! Billy Crystal lives. Thank you very much! Growing up, I tried to sell my dad and allow my mom to get a Christmas tree and say, Mom converted to Judaism and abandoned her relationship with her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for you, Dad, <laughs> and sucked up the prospect of marrying into your putsy DNA. <laughs> the least you can do is let Mom get her own Christmas tree already that's bigger than the cobweb-covered bonsai tree relegated to the corner of our side patio last year, Dad. <laughs> Dad says, but Jews don't buy Christmas trees. Unless the plan is to convert one into a treehouse and flip it for profit. Holla! Thank you very much! Dad adds, son, also, when Christians look at a Christmas tree, they see a Christmas tree. But when a Jew looks at a Christmas tree, they see nothing more than a camouflage cross. Lenny Bruce lives. Holla! Thank you very much! I wrote a short story for Hanukkah called Gimmel Be Good, but the kid who invented the dreidel game, to distract the Romans from their banned Torah studies by making a gambling game, which used fake news gelt. <laughs> so if a Roman officer crashed your home to see if any forbidden circumcision was being performed to remove the future head buried into a floppy sleeping bag look from REI, <laughs> the Roman officer would think, oh, another degenerate true with a Gambling problem. Nothing to see here. Play on, heap. Holla! Thank you very much. <laughs> At Whole Foods, this past year, I got an Albert Einstein ornament decoration for our Christmas tree, which I bought because it's a solid anti-Semitic qualifier, like my self-published book, The Great American Jew Novel, that continues to rack up all-star reviews from the Midwest Book review, too, which proves 
that this big-headed, ultra-Jewy heap wasn't too overtly Jewy annoying for the Heartland's taste. Ha! For stroking my books off long time. Thank you very much! <laughs> Again, I got the Albert Einstein ornament. Thinking how Einstein played a huge role in building the atom bomb. Instead of some Nazi tweaked out on crystal meth giving Hail Hitler shout out to a swastika flag. Which is a dumb symbol. The swastika flag looks like two stick figures giving each other a 69 on a seesaw. Holla! Thank you very much! My wife got tense when I brought home the Albert Einstein ornament from Whole Foods. <laughs> she said, decorate your own tree. I said, but I thought this was our own community, inclusive, in-house, non-denominational tree <laughs> because you bought a white Guido tree like the one Ray Liotta brings home for Karen and Goodfellas after he starts selling cocaine behind Paulie's back. Holla! Scorsese lives. Thank you very much! Wife says, stop getting so crazy. The Christian tree is a pagan symbol anyway. I say, but I'm trying to raise our kids in a Jewish household. Not in the set of the Slayer video. Rain, more blood on me. Holla! The who and the Slayer cast has a baby. Thank you very much. <laughs> Plus, true believing Jews don't bend over backwards to worship fake news idols like Obama be meh and Hyde and Biden, aka Mr. Groper, while giving God the stiff arm. Talk to the hand treatment, or else the Maccabees would have never delivered the smack down on the Syrians who tried to force a chosen people to eat wine too many ham and cheese sandwiches. On cold as ice, white Wonder Bread for our taste. Holla! Ah, Jackie Mason strikes again. Thank you very much! But the Jews are the pushy, demanding ones. Not the more inclusive, all-loving Christians of yesteryear. And I'll take the Crusades 1 through 9, Alex. Holla! Ah, thank you very much! Fine, I'm being the paranoid Jew. The Christmas tree isn't a camouflage cross. It's just another... Pagan symbol ripoff. So let's up the ante and I'll pile all my Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath records to the ceiling and call it a tree in the spirit of pagan symbol unity. I'll even drink the bottom of our dark metal tree with an Ouija board signed by Jimmy Page from eBay as a combined big kahuna Hanukkah gift for all three of our kids in case our little ones get burnt out on playing dreidel to Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song on vinyl one too many times with the added verse, Linda Sarsour, not a fan. Ha! Thank you very much! <laughs> Which reminds me, this is an example of me directing my son to avoid any sort of anti-Semitic backlash during the upcoming Hanukkah holiday season. So Arthur, when you teach your friends how to play dreidel, when it lands on Gimel, do not tell them Gimel means give me all your money because we control the Federal Reserve and all the banks in the North Pole too. Holla! Thank you very much! Corny Love called Linda Sarsoy fake feminist who had no business promoting feminism at the Women's March on Washington because of her support of Sharia law. Specifically, clitoral mutilation. So, if siding with rock badass Corny Love over Linda Sarsour makes me alt-right, then I'm alright with it. Ha! Corny Love lives, lived through this rock masterpiece. Who cares if Kurt Cobain and Billy Corgan wrote the majority of the lyrics? Thank you very much! <laughs> and Linda Sarsour, a Palestinian activist from Brooklyn who hates Jews more than Bernie Sanders hates his own mother, claims Jesus was Palestinian, yeah, and Joy Behar is the new Chief Happiness Officer for Breitbart. Ha! Thank you very much! And enough with Israeli aggression. When you fire 6,000 rockets into Israel's backyard, don't expect an edible gift arrangement basket in return with the thank you note written in Farsi. 
with the hardest rock pineapple tops chucked into the Red Sea. Okay, Dennis Leary lives. Ha! Thank you very much. How does killing the head of ISIS make it easier for them to recruit? Like ISIS, whatever honor they're non-compete with Al Qaeda. Ha! Thank you very much. Plus, ISIS recruiters are overrated. All they do is target other lonely virgins on WhatsApp and Facebook who wish their phones blew up. Trump lives. Ha! He won not once but twice. Thank you very much. Never understood the fantasy of deflowering 72 virgins in a row. Doesn't Jihadi John have enough blood on his hands already? Ha! Bill Maher lives. If he was a much taller, funnier keep who looked like Hugh Grant on stilts and Vince Vaughn had a baby. Ha! Thank you very much! <laughs> Finally, Jihadi John arrives at a Motel 6 in Virgin Heaven. Allegedly. Jim Rome lives. Ha! Thank you very much! Virgin number one reveals herself to be a highly grating, annoying, Arabic version of Joy Behar. Booger face! Incarnate! <laughs> Starts to demask and screeches. Don't you have enough blood in your hands already, Jihadi John? Forget it, just whip out your skewer stick and get it over with already. But for what it's worth, I just cleaned the sheet, so let's put that towel on yet to good use for a change already, Jihadi John. Okay! Dennis Leary lives again. Thank you very much! This is Jeff Ross roasting Jay-Z, the Jigger Man, the VIP room, after the Super Bowl. Don't you think child separation is overrated, Jigger? I mean... Look how you turned out. Ha! Thank you very much. And if Coco was never separated from his parents, he never would have become a mini Los Lobos in the making. Why did Beyonce sing the national anthem, Jay? Let me guess. Demi Lovato singing the national anthem sounded too much like the white privileged version of Alabama Shakes. Remember when your boy LeBron got the idea to wear a cast after Michelle threatened to jam her arm up Obama's ass if he ever offered Beyonce a glass of Paul Newman's Lemonade over homemade kombucha ever again. Callback special deluxe number one. You're welcome. Holla! Not an Adderall, I promise. Thank you very much! Have you tried a Snoop Dogg's wine yet, Jay? Wine Advocate says it tastes like mouthwash used in porn hood hell. And this is my impersonation, Jigga Man, of Dr. Dre and Eminem discussing the merger between Microsoft and LinkedIn. Hey, Slim. Mike's all paid. Four billion for LinkedIn. Oh, what? LinkedIn is lamer than ever, yo. Ha! Thank you very much. And Trump is ties to Russia, Jigga? No shit. What mail order bride owner doesn't? Ha! All American made comedy gold. You're welcome. Long time, all the time. Going for the kill shots till the end of time. And I feel fine. R.A.M. lives. Holla. Thank you very much. Getting vaccinated is the most patriotic thing to do. I thought it was filing defamation lawsuits on behalf of Dominion the day democracy died. The FBI could lock up all the right-wing leaders behind... Right-wing leaders. The FBI could lock up all the demonic leader scumbags behind Antifa and BLM and our Supreme Court still in touch an election fraud case with Elizabeth Warren's nightmare catcher totem pole. Holla! For not playing it safe at all whatsoever. That was supposed to be my my showcase! Record number 28 to land a comedy manager! Well, it looks like it's on to the next one. Jay-Z lives. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Bursting with patriotic pride for July 4th this year since Mr. Groper got sworn in via Zoom was harder than Rick Fox staying hard after ex-wife Vanessa Williams took up plus-size modeling bras for Victoria's Secret. Ha! Russ Meyer lives again. Thank you very much! Younger brother says, can't stay late, bro. Jane 
has tutoring to do. I said, but she teaches ESL sporadically. <laughs> so how brain draining can the work be? ESL being English as a second language. <laughs> How brain draining can the work be? Like most Chinese kids bow and nodding submission most of the time anyway. <laughs> Last, if Jane is tutoring the next Obama from Kenya, his college records will become sealed eventually anyway. So what difference does it make? Hillary Hammer Time Cankle strikes again. Thank you very much. This is my dad failing to show his unvaccinated past Trump supporting son Interested, love again. I say, Dad, tell me I should get a smartphone replacement instead of a flip phone because you die without me sending you new pics of your three grandchildren. Because the ones on Facebook aren't enough because we're not friends on the platform anymore. <laughs> so it's like get past the fact that Facebook has made your generation, that being boomers, the laziest, most hands-off grandparent generation of all time. <laughs> and... After I make that inquiry, really wanted my dad to say, yeah, no brainer, get the freaking smartphone. I would die without him. I would die without those pics. It keeps my heart aflutter. <laughs> I, I don't feel uh, cold and distance from my firstborn anymore. And I make this proposal to my dad. He, and there's no nod, no change in demeanor. All I heard was crickets. Like when I asked my dad in my mind at the time, so with your favorite son adding heroin, used to his uh, never-ending uh, demon-battling list of notable accomplishments to counter, do you still think he makes Hunter Biden look like a slacker underachiever in comparison? The unholy father strikes again. Ha! Going for the kill shots. Long time, all the time. Hashem, just busting balls. And I just made peace with my younger brother. So, you know, I'm in it for the funny. Ha! Thank you very much! <laughs> Parents! Send their kids to Dalton, claim to be enraged over their kids being shown masturbation videos as early as the first grade. But they want to remain anonymous, refusing to come out on Tucker Carlson out of fear of being kicked off Facebook. <laughs> or else they lose off all showing off privileges. <laughs> after, <laughs> after school, Tommy's hanging out with Ari. And Tommy says, uh, so uh, whenever you watch Dora, do you ever get actually excited and fight the need to stack uh, one backpack on top of the other on your lap. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> and the parents who send the kids adults on high are all high-powered lawyers, the partners, hedge fund managers, and plastic surgeons for trans teens reared on Lou Reed Records. <laughs> and aren't these people all considered uh, essential employees to the uh, economy at large, owned by Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan and the Blackstone Group, yada yada yada. So, aren't why would these parents ever be worried about getting into any sort of trouble uh, by Zitfei Zook on Facebook? Aren't they considered the less disposable employees in the rest, assuming they shit in MAGA hats on company retreats in the Bahamas? Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> and how does speaking out publicly against Dalton teachers sexualizing their kids' age of innocence get somebody fired from a hedge fund in Connecticut bringing $4 billion a year? Does office security yank you out of the executive corporate john on the top floor during your standard uh, well-earned midday drug outbreak? <laughs> Only for uh, corporate office security to sing, you don't come around here no more, Tom Petty lives. Ha! Thank you very much. <laughs> Every night, my daughter asks me, Daddy, what do you do after you tuck me in? Last night, I snap. And I say, I squeeze in five minutes of Daddy me time. All right? Holla. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's it like being an unplanned Father of three, drinking alone is no longer an issue. Ha! The unholy father strikes again. Money on stick, far from empty. Jackson Brown lives. Ha! Thank you very much. I actually gave up drinking beer 
last summer. I felt terrible spending so much time hungover, recycling, endless, empty reminders of my lush-filled, littered past as entire Rocky Marathons on AMC passed me by. Holla! Stallone lives. Thank you very much! This Ziggy Marley being interviewed by High Times Magazine. Ziggy, how did your dad have seven kids? Doesn't excessive ganja use drain your life blaster dry? And Ziggy Marley says, Fake news, man. Tough gong lives. Holla! Thank you very much! I actually stopped smoking weed uh, altogether. Uh, especially after I thought my daughter was asleep already. Because <laughs> I feel like a total moron trying to answer my daughter's questions on it. While trying to get her to sleep again. <laughs> she says, Daddy, if God created the universe, then who created God? Eventually, I came up with that. So God went back in time in a time machine made by Elon Musk. My daughter says, real convincing, Dad. Thanks for making me an atheist before David Cross lives. Ha! Thank you very much. But God didn't give me three kids. I have a panic attack over it. Which is more than you could say for Pete Davidson. The voice of Generation Z. The rebound boy toy king of Staten Island. Plus, four kids would really piss my parents off. Because they'd feel like even greater ineffectual grandparents from afar than usual. My in-laws included. Ha! Thank you very much! But I'm afraid of getting a vasectomy because I don't want my ball sack to perpetually feel like Edward Scissorhands' face. Ha! Tim Burton lives. Thank you very much! If my two sons got carried away playing with their big sister's Barbie dolls. I think playing with my G.I. Joe figures way past the acceptable age was incredibly gay. <laughs> Especially when I perpetually had gung-ho, manhandle, Cobra Commander, like his personal, on-call, can't be bitch in Pulp Fiction. Ha! Tarantino lives. Thank you very much! <laughs> One time, my son says to me, I've seen Mama's vagina before. I prefer a vagina with no hair. I say, big boobs, compliment it better. Holla! The unholy father lives. Thank you very much! Wife says, Samuel, that's our lucky number three, otherwise known as Chosen Curls, was bound to, woo! She says, Samuel gets bored whenever he spends too much time with me. I always knew the kid was a quick learner. Holla! Thank you very much! I call my son, my lucky number three, Chosen curls was bound to woo! Because Italian grandmas floor with the kid nonstop at Stop and Shop. Way past the free sample prime rib station has closed. Ha! Ah, thank you very much! To say to my son, when you get older, you're going to have three girlfriends to juggle. And I'll say, no offense, lady, but if James Woods had this kid's face, your estimates wouldn't be so conservative. Ha! Ah, thank you very much! Chosen Curls has an older brother whose name is Arthur Morrison Cornbluth. I wanted to name him Arthur Brooks Cornbluth in honor of the comedian Albert Brooks, but I changed my mind at the last minute because I didn't want to give my son the permission to be another Jewish pussy. Holla! Thank you very much! The best thing about having a son is that they'll tell you whenever you're being a slacker for you. Son says, Daddy, why didn't you go on the Peloton today? I say, I got food poisoning from the halal guys last night. Son says, enough for the excuses, Daddy. You're worse than Hillary. Ha! For finishing strong, long time, all the time. Thank you very much. Dr. Seuss is racist because he drew a picture of an African in a grass skirt. I didn't know FUBU was in fashion yet. Ha! Damon Dash lives. Thank you very much. My wife is from Australia originally. Uh, before we got married, uh, when we were trying to decide where to get married, my mom calls me up to shoot our plan to get married in the land down under. And she says, Australia is a long flight from New York, son. And your father doesn't love you that much. Ha! Ah! Crocodile Dundee lives. Thank you very much! Later, I put my wife at ease and say, Babe, assuming we have a boy one day, instead of hiring a rabbi for the kid's circumcision, we'll hire Crocodile Dundee. Just 
so we could hear a room full of Jews say, now that's a knife, you can chop it all off with that thing. Holla! Jim Jeffries lives. Thank you very much! Grandparent bad manners, let's talk about it. Grandparent bad manners is when your dad transfers the smell of stale cigarettes from a discontinued Arabic brand called Territum 100s on top of your April Fresh daughter only two days out of Mama's Snuggle Snatch Shine Womb, which makes your firstborn smell worse than Don Draper's corpse draped in Aramis. Holla! Madman lives. Thank you very much! Grandparent bad manners is your in-law spending more on doggy daycare than what they spend on their three grandchildren combined so far. Ten years and counting. Ha! Ah, thank you very much! It's also hard to warm up to your in-laws when they admit openly how they both didn't care for the ending of Inglorious Bastards. Especially knowing how they both bolted to see Apocalypto opening weekend, booking reservations on Fandango for the first time ever, six million months in advance. Ha! Ah, thank you very much! And did you know that 420, the National Pot Smoking Holiday, is actually on Hitler's birthday? When I made this discovery, I felt so betrayed. I never felt that betrayed until I learned that Sly Stallone had snuck Mel Gibson into Expendables 3. Ha! Ah, thank you very much! I'm Generation X kids today in Steph Curry jerseys who've never stepped over. Shit in San Francisco, another California, what I call the bandwagon generation. Holla! Thank you very much! I grew up fretting about getting AIDS before magic made HIV disappear. As a result, I like my comedy, like my coffee, dark and bitter. Dark roast to be exact, or else I'd be circumcising my happiness, and my wife does that enough to me already. Holla! Thank you very much. I gave up taking Adderall so I wouldn't focus as much on how ahead of the curve annoying my wife can be. And better, lucky number three, cry some more boob. And my wife says, without fail, if I give the baby more boob, he'll be on the boob all night long. And I reply, your boob is more important places to be. <laughs> be happy your torn up nips are getting any attention at all. Especially since your perpetually foamy nips start to taste like a regrettable Non-fat latte. Holla! Thank you very much! My wife works nights, so I'll be out with my three kids plenty. And random, grown men will approach me in public and say, you've got your hands full. And I'll say, if my book, The Great American Jew Novel, scores me a talent agent sometime this century, resulting in my wife agreeing to that promised boob job, in addition... <laughs> To my wife following through with providing me with another three-way or potential open relationship with Jessica Simpson, sexual napalm herself, then my hands will be full. The unholy father lives to squeeze a new pair of busty 36 D's. Katie King lives. Holla! Thank you! Very much!